the head of the college, the provost. in Christ, let us prepare ourselves to go in heart and mind to Bethlehem and to see the child lying in a manger. Let us read and mark the story of God's loving purposes and of the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child, and let us make this chapel dedicated to his pure and lowly mother, glad with our songs of praise. But first, let us pray for peace and goodwill over all the earth, for unity and brotherhood at home and in Her Majesty's dominions. And because this would rejoice his heart of love, let us remember before God the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those that mourn, 
the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus or who love him not, and those who rejoice with us but upon another shore and in a greater light. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Angels bring us all. God announceth in the Garden of Eden that the seed of woman shall bruise the serpent's head. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, 
What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Thanks be to God.
The angel Gabriel saluteth the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. Matthew telleth of Christ's holy birth. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, 
and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Thanks be to God. Shepherds go unto the manger, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. Thanks be to God.
wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Thanks be to God. Kings from Persia and then the fall to Jordan follow the pointing star, and this the quest of the travelers see where the newborn King of the Jews may be. Oh, 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 they bear for the king gold, incense, myrrh, and The star shines out with a stem of
John unfoldeth the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, with Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. He was that true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who hast given us thy only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and as at this time to be born of a pure virgin, grant that we, being regenerate and made thy children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by thy Holy Spirit through the same, our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the same Spirit, ever one God, world without end. May he who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, grant you the fullness of inward peace and goodwill, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always.